Hi everybody, how are you? So my name is Bernadette Henry and I'm here to answer questions about rope size. So a lot of times people, they start jumping rope and they say, oh my gosh, how do you jump so low to the ground where you're not jumping so high? Or, oh my jump rope, my arms are hurting while I'm jump roping, what am I doing wrong? So basically the answers to both of those questions could possibly be that your rope is sized wrong. And size matters, okay? So the size or the length of your rope can make or break your jump rope workout. So your rope should be one of three lengths. It should either be A, to your very tip of your shoulders, B, to your chest level or your underarm pit, or three, to your chest level. The size of your jump rope is very, very important. So I'm just gonna show you how to size your rope, okay? So I have the rope. I'm going to step on the rope with one foot. I'm going to hold the handles together. I'll stick on my arm. And see, my rope comes right here to my uh, armpit, which is where I prefer the jump rope. So, um, like I said, you step on the foot, the rope with one foot. Handles are together. You stick your arm out on that same foot. You put the rope here and the rope should either, like I said, measure to the very tip of your shoulder, not too far above your shoulders, to your armpit, which is where I prefer, or to the chest level, okay? And the thing about it is that when you have your rope the right size, then you'll stick to your correct form. So your arms will be able to stay here. You won't have to extend because the rope is so long. When the rope is really long, what you're doing is you're overcompensating um, for the length of the rope, which is wrong. So this is why a lot of times people are holding their arms like this, their arms are hurting because they're putting extra work on their shoulders. Or if the, or if the rope is too long, there's gonna be a lag in the rope. So you have to actually work harder and jump harder to get over that rope. So if the, and then if the rope is too short, you're gonna shorten the length of your rope and you're not gonna be able to jump over that rope. So rope size is very, very important, very important. Like I said, rope size, rope to either be to the very tip of your shoulder, to your armpit, which is what I prefer, or your chest level. Now, if your rope is very long, it doesn't mean you have to go out and go buy a brand new rope. Just tie some knots in it, okay? So put some knots in the rope, how many ever you prefer, and uh, you will be a-okay. So like I said, rope size is very, very, very important. And yes, it can make or break your jump rope workout. Also, it, you will help yourself prevent injury. So I hope that was useful. If you have any additional questions, leave them here. I'm actually revamping my YouTube channel. So if you do have any questions about jump rope, about anything, whether it um, talks about urinary incontinence in women, whether you wanna learn how to jump, whether um, you want to talk about the kind of bras you should wear, the kind of shoes you should wear, uh, compression socks, whatever you want to know, just ask me and I will definitely be doing more videos. So thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon.